My name is Joe Burns. I'm the CEO of Centurion Aerospace. Centurion Aerospace is a manufacturer, operator, and IoT provider for drones. So the tipping point for aerospace, well, I was a longtime airline uh, employee and, and captain, and we saw an opportunity to get into this drone industry that really kind of started about three years ago in a big way. The tipping point for IoT was uh, the fact that now we have a drone with incredible amount of processing capability, and we're able to take that sensor and processing capability in real time sample a whole section of, of the atmosphere and the planet that has no IoT sensors at all. We have incredible amount of atmospheric sensors on the platform. The ability to go out and sample weather events, atmospherics, pollution, all those sorts of things that we cannot sample today. There are literally no sensors in that environment from the surface up to say four or five hundred feet where drones mainly operate. There are some projects out there, one of them is known as TAMDAR, another one is MedCars that are attached to aircraft, but they're so few and far between. Inexpensive systems, they work great, but this is the opportunity to take that lower section of airspace underneath that 500 foot and really start measuring things like uh, disruptions to laminar airflow and turbulence and temperature and pollution and all those sorts of things that you're not gonna necessarily see from the ground level. So there are two objects there that have really changed rapidly, drones and IoT. We're able to take IoT and put information directly into the Watson system for image recognition. So we can actually look for a fault and be able to make a very, very intelligent decision on what that fault happens to be and what the situation might be that you need to repair. And it really rolls into something known as a, as a predictive health management or, or a asset health management type of an environment where you can take that information and start making, making proactive maintenance decisions on an object before things go bad. No, my, we went into this job knowing that it was going to be a different industry, so my job is just to promote the good cause and to, and to sell lots of services and drones into the industry. A real big issue, I've been in the airline industry for a long time, was uh, everything moves at a slower pace. There's safety of life issues, a lot of factors that take time and analysis, and, and systems take a long time to happen. What I've seen in the drone industry it's kind of a revolution for aviation. Things are happening at a pace that no one has ever seen. Systems are updating themselves every 12 months, and it's starting to be, uh, it, it's almost hard to keep up with the advancements and changes in technology versus traditional aviation. So there's two really big things, uh, two big events on the horizon that, that are next in drone technologies. One is full automation. So the ability for the drone itself to take off, perform a function uh, fully automated, and, and the other one is uh, really around the whole in, uh, infrastructure revolution, bringing the data into the systems that you've never had before and the ability to start suppl supplementing traditionally manned inspections with, with uh, ladder trucks and people actually going out. This, this brings a whole new safety factor into, into inspections and, and certain other opportunities like that. We really build, first things first, we had to build a drone and uh, someone asked me, hey, that's great, now what can you do with it? And the, the, the uh, uh, IoT is really the what you can do with it. So it takes the information that's out there, miniaturizing the sensors and be able to transmit that real time back to the ground. Now you have something you can do with it. So the platforms themselves, the aircraft are becoming very stable. Now it's all about all the other things you can start to do with those platforms. Drones are here to stay and they're just gonna keep growing. And uh, as one of my friends has been fond of telling me, we're on the one yard line, but we have 99 yards left to go in applications.